Well, this day and age, preseason starts in the summertime. You know, we had all our guys here this summer, and you really get acclimated to the campus, acclimated to each other, and they lift together, they play together, they hang out together, um, they go to school together. So preseason started in the summertime, building that bond. Carried over into the fall semester, I thought we had a, a, a very good and hardworking uh, fall. We went through a, a boot camp that hopefully instilled some toughness and some togetherness um, and what we call shared adversity. And uh, so I think that was a, a real positive of how hard our guys worked. And uh, I think you're at this point now when you go summer, fall, official practice, you get to November, they're just itching to play someone different. And I think everyone coach in the country goes through this. You hit that mark where you just, you're done playing against each other. You really want to get going against some different competition and that's where we're at right now. Well, I think when you have younger guys, the grind of a season, the grind of balancing a college academic world, especially at Loyola, with the grind of Division One basketball is, is something where fatigue sets in and uh, you get mentally tired as well as physically tired. And you, you want your leadership to to, they know what to expect. They know that um, the energy level has to stay high, the focus has to stay high, and that's what you're hoping from London, Joe, and Christian. They've been through four years, and they know how to balance it, that they're picking up the, young, the newcomers and the youngsters uh, throughout the this, this season. And, um, you know, also share their knowledge. You know, when, you, when you're developing a program and a system, that those, those three know it. They know it as good as the coaches, and they have to share that knowledge. They're around the guys in the locker room, on the floor, on the sideline. They've got to be an, as three extra assistant coaches, and I'm counting on that. And good programs do that. Good programs, successful programs, have their upperclassmen as, as definitely their leaders. You know, Rockhurst is always an extremely well-coached team. They're extremely fundamental. And the, the, the one thing, they, they, they really shoot the ball. You know, last year they were 10 of 18 from three. And uh, only four teams shot, made 10 or more threes against us last year, and they had the best shooting percentage. We have to get to their shooters. They, they execute, they run good motion offense, and you, you have to be underneath them on the catch. But uh, they, they also will change defenses on you. They'll play some zones, some man, some one through one. So you really have to be ready for all those changing defenses and, uh, and be ready to execute.